Today we are going to discuss about strengthening of reinforced concrete beams. Why we need to strengthen the reinforced concrete beams? What are the methods available to strengthen reinforced concrete beams? All will be discussed today. At the end of this video, we will be able to understand what are the available procedures, techniques that we need to adopt when you are doing the strengthening. First we see what are the requirements of reinforcing strengthening of beam. Why we need it? There are mainly two reasons. Structural capacity, durable issues could be there. When we discuss about structural capacity, once you do the design, when you do the construction, once the construction is completed, there may be a structural loading on the structure. Once load is applied, the beams could fail if it does not have an adequate structural capacity. In such a situations, you may not be able to use this particular area. So, in such cases, we have to enhance or improve the strength or the structural capacity of that particular beam. Initially, you may see the cracking and excessive deflections. With that, you, you have to determine whether this is a structural failure or not. So, once it is identified as a structural failure, you have to do the necessary precaution to avoid further failure or collapse. In all structures, there could be durability issues that cause the failure. Corrosion of reinforcement could be one of the main issues in the structure. Chlorination, carbonation, sulfate attacks, all those things lead to a corrosion of the reinforcement. Then cracking could also be there due to the different environmental conditions. With that, the durability issues cause failure of the beam. That could be a structural failure if the reinforcement and the section is corroded, reinforcement are corroded, etc. So, in these situations, we can do the retrofitting, we can do the strengthening of the reinforced concrete beams. Let's see what are the available methods we can do it. Mainly, today we are going to discuss about four methods. First one is adding reinforcement cage without increasing the section. Second one, Increase in section and add the additional reinforcement. Use the steel plates, use the steel beams to support the beams. Then finally, we are going to discuss about FRFE methods. First method we are going to discuss about the adding reinforcement. Say this is the section of the beam. Right? So you know there is a cover zone in a beam. Right? This is the cover zone. So in this cover zone, we can remove this area and we can add the reinforcement there. Without increasing the section, you can remove or chip this area and you can add the additional reinforcement. And also once you, when you are doing this, we have to support the surrounding area and you can do the necessary precaution. And also once you expose the concrete, you will be able to see the reinforcement and if they are corroded, you can do the take the further actions. Before doing any strengthening method, you have to extensively investigate the cause of these issues. With that, only you may do the necessary precautions. So you, as you can see there, this reinforcement uh, you can chip and expose, and then you can have a reinforcement like this. You can increase into the you can insert them into the existing beam or the support so slab right so this is your existing section this is your existing section and in on, on the cover zone you can add the reinforcement like this this when you have a minor damage in the structure because there is no any enhance major enhancement in this type of a rectification. In addition to that you can do the same thing for the second under second thing we are going to discuss. So we can increase the section. For example if we have a beam like this in this case you can increase the section. So you can increase the section. If it doesn't have adequate structure capacity so you can increase the section. You can add the reinforcement like this, you can insert them and also you can have the reinforcement to carry the tension requirements. This reinforcement area you have to finalize from the design. So 
the reinforcement area I have taken from the design and you can do the increase the section the section capacity also you have to do the necessary calculation to find the section capacity but if you have issue you can do it in this case also you have to keep in mind to chip this surface adequately and also apply the bonding agent when you do the concreting in this case in this first case i i have to you have to mention i have to mention now when you fill this gap you may use the epoxy epoxy type gau epoxy type gau and also in the second case you may fill with the non swing construction gau and also you have to keep in mind to treat properly at this cone now you can see here the cone will be like this your new section will be like this you it will be difficult you to do the concreting at this stage so you may fix the foam work like this and you can fill whole thing and later you can chip here from this point or not you can remove the rain concrete and you can keep the rectangular section that you have to keep in mind when you are doing the strengthening right so next thing we are going to discuss about adding a steel plate that's the third one we are going to discuss third method so your sections so i'm going to draw a longitudinal section of here so a beam will be like this right there may be a columns here and there so if you have a cap capacity structure capacity issue in the beam you might add the steel plate there like this area where you need the capacity you can have a steel plate so you can fix this steel plate with the anchors and this gap can be filled with epoxy okay epoxy grout is should be would be more suitable it has a very high strength like 50 60 kilonewtons newtons per millimeter square strength and also you can easily fill up this gap with epoxy because it's it, you can use the flowable epoxy then you can easily fill these gaps otherwise there will be issue if there is a gap in there because the bonding issue but to you you can make sure adding anchors there then you can make sure adding anchors will make sure the proper bonding within the plate and the beam that that also you have to do there then at the top also at top supports also you can do the same thing so if you have a structural strength learning requirement at the support there also you can do the same thing because as you we all know the bending moment diagram will be like this the bending moment at the mid span at the support will be high so these situations if these both this locations if you have a structural capacity issue so you can do the same thing at the support also the fourth thing we are going to discuss today is use the steel beam to support the concrete beam so the same similar thing we have a beam like this so we have a column here also column here this is our beam and so you can have a steel beam like i beam there to support the beam so you can fit put i beam there under the beam so you can have a you can have a strengthening with that so your i beam will be like this under the beam so it will as a act as a composite composite section so with that you can increase the capacity and also you have to keep in mind to treat this gap because if there is a gap between the steel beam and the concrete beam there will be a issue so you have to make sure this gap is properly filled you may use the non-sync construction gout to fill this gap you have to do it very careful fifth method we are going to discuss today is the FRFE FRFE so this is also commonly used method but uh, we are not going to detail discuss in detail about this method but you can use this method to en enhance the capacity of the beam and you can increase the structure capacity but you have to make sure that there are no corrosion issues in the beams if this the section is corroded and the reinforcement are corroding continuously in those situations you better treat this corroded reinforcement corroded sections and you treat you better treat the cracks first then you can do the FRFE also 
they have to make sure the fire requirements when they are doing those kind of things because uh, if you if, if you are the structure is going to expose to the fire or if there is risk of fire on those kind of situation you have to consider the alternatives also uh, when you do in the strengthening right with that we have discussed five methods that we can do use to strengthen the reinforced concrete beams so i think you get a certain knowledge on strengthening of reinforced concrete beams let's meet again from new video thank you very much for watching our videos